a topic that you may come across in your life if you have somehow worked, maybe saved, and invested, and accumulated a bit of money, and maybe uh, have a desire to be some sort of philanthropic objective and contribute back to society because of the blessings you receive from your services and the, and the world, you may want to go explore the idea of some sort of philanthropic um, charity. But I will just give you this feedback on it, um, and maybe you take these notes. Don't rob people of dignity, accountability, responsibility, or productivity. Don't rescue desperate people. Give them a way of standing on their own two feet. Education is one of the great philanthropies. It gives people the opportunity to stand on their own two feet. Now, education, though, can take people who are procreating and reduce the procreation. The fertility mortality rates can go down, so there's downsides to it. But it makes them self-sufficient from an economic perspective. But don't rob people of dignity, accountability, responsibility, or productivity. Most people have seen people who have been rescued, enabled, dis disabled by people that just keep taking care of them. And they become juvenile dependent and they don't grow. So beware of giving to charities that are rescuing desperations without some sort of education or self-sufficiency promotion. Make sure. Now, also when you're doing charities, be aware that um, I would, if, if I was giving money to it, I wrote a big article in Jet Set Magazine on charities and the things to ask. You can go on Jet Set Magazine, look up my articles in, uh, on philanthropy there. But, but if you go there and um, you'll find out something interesting, that a very high percentage of charities, they spend the money that you give them on marketing. Some charities up to 80 Five to 87% of the money given to them goes back into marketing, telemarketing. Now, that was eye-opening when I saw that. I did a lot of research on different charities and found that the, if you go and find out exactly how every dollar that you give it is handled, you might blow your mind. So I believe if you're going to give to some sort of charity that you deserve to know how every dollar that's given is being managed. Don't be afraid to ask. And if they're not willing to tell you, that's suspicious. If they have everything organized and laid out and you know exactly where the money is going, you have a better discernment on whether or not that money is going to make a difference. So don't rescue, as, as Buffett says, not too much where you make them dependent, but enough to stimulate. Beware of basically robbing people of their drive and rescuing people. Now, again, education has been one of the more efficient systems to make self-sufficiency. Educating practical education, not indoctrinating on how to be a drone working for other people, but some, somehow an education allows them to contribute and maybe add more jobs and contribute to, to creativity and contribution. But we do an investigation on the charity and make sure that where your money's going is actually where it's, you think it's going. Because there's different types of charities. In America, there's 501c3s. And for every dollar you give it, let's say you give it a million dollars or a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or something, about 5% minus cost actually may go to the charity. That's all that's required. And the rest of it may be going into building up a fund. That fund, if it's managed wisely, will grow. And so the next year, another 5% will be given to the charity. And if that fund's growing, the money you gave it will keep compounding and growing. And the money will be over time given to the people and to the cause that you thought you gave. And other times there's some that don't uh, fund it. They, they take all the money and they just automatically go to charity, but they're not sustainable. And five years from now, they may be broken out of the business. So go and investigate how the structure is made up and make sure it's doing something that's actually, and there's some sort of data that's proving that it's giving you a result. I watched a charity one time. I went to a charity function at night. To, they were raising money. And, I, and it was a basically an educational kind of orphanage for kids that were and parents were taken from them because they were you know, dr doing drugs or beating them or whatever. And so it's a place to go there. But the people that were promoting it were making them hate their parents and making them dependent and giving them privileges. And then what was happening is they had more people that they were ending up having to take care of. And instead of actually trying to also rehab the parents, so it led to quite a, quite a chaos system where the parents and everything else and the children are now in conflict and the children are feeling guilty and all this stuff was happening. So 
do really, really a due diligence on where you're putting your money. Now, if you get somebody that does something that's really inspiring to you and you feel you've got a gift and, and you feel like you want to give back, great. Make it spontaneous. Do it. Sometimes doing it anonymously is to your advantage. If you give something and people know about it and you do it for tax purposes, you may find you're bombarded by a whole bunch of charities the next year. And the first time you do it, you may want to do it, love to do it. The second time you may feel obligated and then they may depend on you and they may put pressure on you and then after a while you don't even want to do it. So make sure you do it in a way that if it's something truly inspiring to you long term, fantastic. But beware of being trapped into the obligation cycle because then you can make them dependent and use guilt trips and emotional blackmail to get you to be giving. So I'm, I'm a firm believer if you're going to do charity, um, make sure that you think through, identify, investigate where the money's going, how it's going, what the impact it's having. Make sure it really gets the job done that you envision or at least that they're promoting. And don't rob people of dignity, accountability, responsibility, and productivity. And know that if you've been extracting surplus labor value out of other people and making wealth, and your nature is going to give it back. Anytime you get into capitalistic extractions from other people that work and you end up getting something out of their work, you end up giving back. And anybody, sometimes the socialistic side, they end up, you know, giving all that away during the time they work for other people and then they end up have social welfare. So nature is always trying to homeostate and bring back into balance the give and the take in society. So keep that in mind and make sure you know where every dollar goes. And, and also, if you're going to do philanthropic things, sometimes you making sure a portion of that philanthropy goes to yourself. Make sure that you save a portion and invest a portion so your money's working for you, so you're not its slave, you're its master. And then take a portion and contribute to other people's lives and make a difference in society. But make sure it makes the difference. Don't just assume. Don't just go by what's been said on the marketing material. Call them up. Get the data. They have to report it to the government if they're a legitimate organization. You can go and find out exactly what's happening with every dollar. If they're not willing to give it to you, then I would not use that as the source of philanthropy. Find something you know truly makes a difference so you can rest knowing that you're contributing. If you do, you'll have the fulfillment of making a difference. But also realize that sometimes the philanthropy you're doing is a compensation for guilt of the past. Uh, altruistic behavior is compensation for shame and guilt of the past. Narcissistic behavior is compensation for pride and self-righteousness of the past. Try to keep those in balance and maintain sustainable fair exchange. If you keep a sustainable fair exchange, you'll prosper and you'll help other people prosper. So be aware of what you're doing with your money. Make sure it's really being distributed according to what it says in the philanthropy and then go make a difference. But help people really stand on their own two feet. Don't just make a, give them fish for the day. Teach them how to fish.